a friend gave me this generator. I think it's been sitting for a while because the carburetor was all varnished. It wouldn't run. I took it apart and cleaned it with carburetor cleaner and blew it out with the air compressor. And it ran, but you had to leave the choke on a little bit for it to run right. And I knew the carburetor was still probably gummed up. So I ran it that way for a while until finally it just wouldn't run anymore. You can see in the picture how bad it looks. It's still really gummed up and the float was stuck. It was leaking gas all over the place. Thought it might be a good candidate for my vapor blast cabinet. Since I don't use the cabinet that often, I keep it open and dried out on the inside. And the glass beads, this is like a, an old batch that I let dry out. And I just keep it in a Tupperware container inside the cabinet. And I keep everything rolled up and put away. So here I just pour the glass beads into the bucket with the pump. And these are extra fine glass beads that I'm using. And this is the hose for the uh, the glass washing system that I put in and the uh, hose that's on the inside for rinsing off parts. So now it's time to add water to the glass bead mix. I fill it up about halfway or three quarters full. Now that I'm done with the hose, I just connect it to the, the other hose that goes to the glass cleaning and fresh water that's inside the cabinet. Then all the electrical I just keep rolled up on the side of the uh, blast cabinet. So all I have to do is just plug it in. And then connect the air. putting all the carburetor parts inside. The black pedal on the floor is for the pump for the glass beads and the blue one is for the air. And here I'm connecting the vacuum system. I'm recording this with my iPhone just laying on top of the glass window. You can see a lot better when you're not looking at it through the iPhone. It's amazing to me that vapor honing doesn't hurt plastic or rubber.
The carburetor came out perfect. It almost looks like a brand new carburetor. Now I need to make gaskets so I can put it back together. The gasket that goes between the carburetor and the engine was still intact. It wasn't reusable, but it was good enough for me to make a copy of it. The gasket that goes between the carburetor and the air cleaner was messed up pretty bad, so I just took a photocopy of the face of the carburetor. I'm going to use Fusion 360 to make copies of these gaskets. And I'm just learning how to use Fusion 360, so I'll try to explain as I go. So here I need to download those photocopies that I took. So I want to look at it from the top. Now I need to resize it so that it's almost exact, well it has to be exactly the same size as the gasket that I'm going to make. So I already know that the throw to the carburetor is one inch. I already measured it with a dial indicator. So now I need to make a circle and I know it needs to be one inch. So now I need to center it in the center of the hole in the gasket. Now I need to do the bolt holes. And I measured those already. They're 0.213. and then center those. So I'm center, centering these holes onto the photocopy of the gasket. And I know there's a way to copy and paste, but I'm not that advanced in this. Still learning. Centering the hole again. So now I'm going to expand this middle circle to the outside. For the outside of the gasket. I 
and then this will let you draw along the edge of the gasket and it kind of sets itself if you're real careful do the same thing on the other side So now I need to cut those lines that were part of that other circle, the outer circle. So I'll just cut those. And next I need to get rid of the photocopy that's behind it. Oh, you have to give it depth too. It doesn't matter how deep it is for some reason it just needs to know it has depth since it's just a flat plane that we're working on and that's it now I need to export it to a SVG file so that the Cricut cutter will cut it or so it can see it. So I just export it to a uh, another folder that I can use later. And you can change the name of it. I'm just for for here. I'm just leaving it like it is for demonstration. But that's what they look like now with Fusion 360. I made the other gasket basically the same way. And there are the exact dimensions. Now I've opened the gasket files to the Cricut. So you have to set the uh, Cricut setting on custom. And then I'm using the, uh, the leather setting because the gasket material is really thick. Probably thicker than it needs to be. That's all I had though. And then I put the pressure on more. So here I have to change the uh, blade, the knife blade, over to a deep cut blade. And I put the gasket material on the Cricut mat, the sticky mat. And the gasket's two feet long, so I'm just having to support it just so it doesn't hang down. I'm letting the Cricut do all the work. I'm not trying to hold it back or anything. I'm just supporting the gasket because I don't want to cut it. And here it cuts three times on each hole to make sure it cuts all the way through.
and there's two perfect gaskets. I got it all put back together, so we'll see how it runs. <laughs> 